So today we're going to take a look at how we can modify channels in Photopea.com. As you take a look at the image in front of you, there are six different layers to make up this visual image. To the left side, we have the green, then the red, blue, yellow, cyan, and magenta. I provided a document on Google Classroom. You can download that PSD file, and then you're going to go to photopea.com, go File, Open. Select the channel demo.psd and choose. We see we have three images of the same subject. If we take a look at the layers panel, we have left, middle, and right. We're actually going to duplicate each of those layers. We can either hold down shift and select all three, or you can select on one, hold shift, click on the other two. But with all three selected, I'm going to right click on these layers and duplicate layers. That gives me the copies for each. If you take a look, we have a white background. We're going to maintain the white background for this demo and for your project later on. But starting from the left copy, the left copy currently is sitting on top of the left actual image. I can use my move tool, click and drag the image left or right. You can see that we have two copies of the same image. We can repeat the same process. If you want to turn auto select on, auto select is in the top left corner. Make sure the check mark is on. This will allow me to be able to select an image, slide over to the right or left, showing the duplicates of the images that we have. Again, with the right copy, just sliding it left or right. And we're going to modify these locations a little bit later on, but we can see that we now have six images of the same subject. Starting with the left copy, that's the top layer in my panel. We're going to look to use a combination of colors to create our images. We're going to start out with the three basic colors, the three channels that we have, red, green, and blue. That refers to RGB. That's the default setting for our program. And we're going to go up to the top left side navigation. Everyone's going to go up to image, go to adjustments, and then you're going to go to channel mixer. With channel mixer, we're going to look to modify that specific color. The one that we're going to start out with is red. To be able to modify the red, you have to make sure that we take a look at what channel location is set on the top left of the pop-up. I'm going to first make sure it says red, and then I'm going to slide the red over to the right. We see that we get a red tone on the image, and then slide the total all the way to the right. And we see that we get a red image of the subject. Once I have that red, I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to do the G, which is green. I'm going to select the subject in the middle, that middle copy. I'm going to go back up to Image, Adjustments, Channel Mixer. This time we're going to change our channel on the top left from red to green. You see that the sections get modified. The green is now at 100% where the red is at zero. We're going to again push the green up to 200 and slide the total up to 200. We get that bright, vibrant green color. Once we have that green, I can hit OK. And then I'm going to select the right copy. I can go over to the layers panel and click on it, or I can, with the auto select, just click right on the image. This time we're doing the blue. So back up to image, adjustments, down to channel mixer. I want to make sure that the channel is changed from green to blue. Then we're going to slide the blue over to the right and slide the total all the way to the right. You see that you do have a little bit of tones of pink and red inside the image, that's okay. We just want to learn how to modify the specific colors for right now. Once I have that blue tone, I'm going to hit OK. Now if we take a look, we still want to modify the back three images. We have the main three colors, red, green, blue. Now we want to do the cyan, magenta, and yellow. I'm going to select the image over on the left side. 
If I want to do the cyan color, I'm going to go up to the image, again, back down to adjustments and channel mixer. With creating the cyan, magenta, and yellow, it's going to be a combination of the three main colors. Just like we talk about mixing the primary colors to get secondary colors, we're going to be mixing the three primary colors in Photopea to create the secondary colors for our background images. If I want to create cyan, it's going to be a combination of green and blue. So I want to first make sure that I start with the green. You can do blue if you prefer first, but I'm going to slide my green just like we did before, all the way up to 100, 200 over on the total, 200 on the top, and then switch my channel to the blue. Before hitting OK, we're going to look to modify this. Now I'm going to have my blue channel, shift my blue up to the right, and my total up to the right. We see that we get that cyan, bright blue, light blue color on the image. I can click OK. Now we have that combination. We'll talk about how we overlap and blend these two images in together, but we're going to move to the next one. We have the image in the middle. I'm going to go down to the middle layer and then back up to image adjustments, channel mixer. This time we're going to be creating the magenta. The magenta is a combination of red and blue. So again, I'm going to start with the red. I'm going to shift my red up to hundred or to 200, slide my total over to the right, all the way up to 200. Now we have that red color, but we want to change our blue settings as well. So again, we're gonna slide the blue over to the 200 and the total up to 200 and we get that magenta color. I click okay. Now we have the green sitting on top of the magenta and we're gonna go over to our final layer. I'm gonna go back up to image, adjustments, channel mixer. This time we're gonna be making yellow. To make yellow, it's going to be a combination of red and green. We can start with that red at the top and the channels. I'm going to slide the red all the way to the right and then slide the total over to 200%. Don't hit OK yet. We want to now change our green. I'm going to slide my green all the way to the right and my total all the way to the right. We see with the yellow, it is a very bright color, so we don't necessarily get to see it very visible, but we can still see it well enough to see that it has the original image inside there. And I hit OK. So we have our six colors. Now we're gonna to look to modify and create a blend between the two. And this is gonna be using blending options. With blending options, I'm going to select my left copy, that's the red color, over in the layers panel. Does everybody see where it says normal? And where it says normal, we're gonna click on the drop down, and we're going to change this to multiply. When I click on multiply, you see the overlap of the red and the blue. It creates an interesting dynamic of the two contrasting colors competing, but actually creating a more visible image of the image of the subject. We're going to repeat this process for the green. I'm going to go to the middle copy in the blending options, go down, click on multiply. You see again, that overlap of the green and the magenta color. I can sh shift this over, slide it over. I'm actually going to align it right on the eye. So that creates a, Interesting dynamic of having the three eyes across. Just that overlap where we see a little bit more color combination together. And finally, over to the blue and the yellow, I have the right copy, which is my blue layer. I'm going to go adjustments, channel mixer. You can exit out of that. And go to the right copy, go up to the blending option, normal. Switch it to multiply, and you see how the blue and yellow sit together over top of the subject. If I were to sit these two colors over top, we actually get the full color image of the subject, but it's meant to create that interesting dynamic. These colors combined together, yes, create that original image, but it kind of plays with a interesting dynamic of creating a three-dimensional look. And just like you would see in a three-dimensional image, two co color channels are combined together to create a three-dimensional image.
So I can shift these a little bit closer. But we have a very interesting dynamic, but we want to bring this a little bit more cohesive together. We're going to select both the blue and the yellow layer. I can hold down control on my keyboard, select both the right sides, and then shift these over to the side so that this is a little bit closer together. Then I can do this same thing with the left copy, hold down control, select out the cyan left, slide that over to the right side so this is more cohesive together as one. Then I can look to use the crop tool, the crop tool left side navigation will allow me to cut out areas that I don't necessarily want of the image. So I can cut down all of this area, letting me focus on just these six images, making one cohesive composition. If I want to create a little bit better blend where the left or the right side are sitting over top of the middle, where we get a better blend on top of the subject, I need to apply that same multiply layer onto the background layers. So with that cyan, with the magenta, and with the yellow, rather than leaving them as normal as well, I'm gonna switch those to multiply. When I do that, it will create just a better blend in the middle, putting all the pieces together. You see, once I switch that multiply, we're able to visibly see this magenta color sitting over top of the subject, creating a blend between all three. And finally, the magenta color in the middle, I'm going to switch to multiply. And again, it sits over top of the subject. So we get a cohesive piece that ties these three images of the subject into one cohesive composition. You can always modify, you can play with the arrangement. If you want to create more space between the layers, you can adjust to find something that you are satisfied with. But you're going to save this as a Photoshop file. Go File, then down to Save as PDF, PSD. This will automatically save to your computer. And if you want to make it simplified, save a JPEG and go File, down to Export, save as JPEG. JPEG will maintain the properties, but what we're looking for for this demo is just to understand how the channels create these six different colors. You're gonna submit that file for today and you're all done. Have a great day.